Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. I'm Lord Bruticus. And I'm Dark Lady J. First, I thought I would share with you the newest addition to my wall here. It reads, To Lord Bruticus, host of the Dark Side Chats. Signed, Darth Vader, Dave Prowse. <laughs> my telephone guest this time is a prolific writer of Star Wars fan fiction, whose work is a bit more action-packed than it is dramatic. Here now is my telephone conversation with Eric Darth Bane Johnson. Well, welcome, Eric, to the Dark Side Chats. Greetings. <laughs> well, now, you are a prolific fan fiction author. You have written uh, a number of uh, Star Wars uh, fan fiction uh, novels, if you will, not the least of which is a three-book uh, trilogy, which I guess is still in progress. I think you're still working on the third installment, uh, that called Infinite Darkness. And I was wondering what uh, prompted you to write this story, what it's about, and um, really, can you describe it for us? Yeah, um... I had seen the episode three movie, and I was kind of disappointed with the way that uh, the the Jedi's fall from grace and the Siths rise to power. And it, it seemed to me like it didn't have enough weight to it. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that he didn't show in his movies that we all wanted to see, like uh, how Anakin destroyed the Jedi in the temple and stuff like that. So um, I wanted to do something that had more that described the Sith as a brutal and you know, gory race that they are, and uh, so I decided uh, to do my own thing. At the time, a friend of mine had written a book, and I was like, well, if he could do it, then, you know, so can I. Um, so then I decided to, uh, I decided to uh, write that, and uh, that's when I had met you on uh, YouTube a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. I had, uh, I pitched the story, uh, what I wanted to do, and uh, so, you know, I was like, well, give me a, give me a name of the title, and I got, uh, then Infinite Darkness was born. Excellent. Well, now, the characters in Infinite Darkness are kind of unique in that not all of them are characters that, uh, um, are of your creation. In other words, uh, one of the main characters is, well, yours truly, me. Um, and uh, the other, some of the other characters that are in there, too, are people that are, are real, such as uh, uh, people that have been here on the Dark Side Chats, Delpa Caval, for one. Uh, so I was kind of curious also as to what prompted you to include um, uh, people that are, that, are, that are real, that have um, Star Wars alter egos on MySpace, for instance. Well, when I first got a hold of you and I asked you to be the main character and you were going to be the person that I was going to write about, and then I talked to, uh, I spoke to uh, Lord Sin and uh, Dark Lucretus, and I was like, well, why don't I just add them since I'm, since I'm doing a story about a MySpace character? So I figured, well, I could get these guys, which are the, the leaders of the, uh, the group, uh, the New Brotherhood of Darkness. And uh, so I added them, and then um, I wanted to use uh, characters of MySpace, and you know, uh, as payment, I would give them a copy of the book. Uh, and so I, I decided to do it that way. Uh, if someone wants to read what you're uh, currently writing, again, you're working on the third installment of the three book series, Infinite Darkness. Now, uh, and that's that's what what is the title of the third book? Uh, Domination. Domination, right. So the first one is uh, Infinite Darkness, The Gathering. The second one is Infinite Darkness... Cloud of Shadows. Cloud of Shadows, right. Uh, and wh where can someone read these? Would that be on in the blog section somewhere of your MySpace page? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they can go to myspace.com slash darkbane1138. Well, uh, being that I uh, had the honor of being the main character, or one of the main characters, in the... Uh, uh, Infinite Darkness book series, uh, fan fiction, mind you, whether you're not uh, making any money on this, and neither am I. Um, now, the reason I say that is because I was so uh, honored to be the main character of a story, period, that I agreed to do an audio version of um, the first book, uh, Infinite Darkness, The Gathering. And, uh, well, it took me uh, about three or four months of uh, spare time beyond spare time, but uh, I did it. It's uh, now ready to go, and uh, I think it meets your approval. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, I love it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I love the, the sound effects are awesome, and uh, I even uh, even the voice, the way that you uh, the way that you speak is uh, is incredible as well. Well, um, I think what uh, we both decided upon is that we're going to uh, do a giveaway contest for one copy of the audio version of Book One, Infinite Darkness, The Gathering, uh, which I recorded and did sound effects for, like you mentioned, uh, here at the end of this episode, uh, which uh, is probably one of the uh, what's the most unique uh, giveaway contest that I've ever done, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud to offer it. Um, now, but your whole saga takes place in the future, millions of years, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? Yeah, it's... Uh... It starts off. It's kind of hard to follow. You'd have to. You got to if you if you start reading the you know the second or the third book, you want to read the first one. But it starts off uh, half a million years into the future, and then uh, and then uh, Bruticus travels a million years after that. I only did that because I didn't want to do anything in Lucas's timeline in the original Star Wars timeline. That way, I could create my own planets, and I wouldn't have to worry about running into somebody else's story. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, it's an excellent read, and I'm sure uh, people are going to be looking forward to uh, reading and listening to uh, Book One, uh, uh, Infinite Darkness. Anyway, so um, uh, if you had uh, one thing to say or ask uh, George Lucas, what would that be? Stop reproducing them damn action figures. <laughs> okay, and why would, why would that be? He's, he's, he's cut out so many action figures, it's, it's not even funny. I mean, uh, the, the original ones were really neat. And there's so many reproductions. I mean, uh, mm-hmm. I got a vinyl cake Jawa, and you know the price keeps going down on it because he keeps re-releasing. <laughs> like every year, he's re-releasing new figures. I can imagine that for collectors, it's it's very frustrating uh, when uh, you've got more and more and more and more things. It's just more money that uh, collectors have to uh, plunk out. Um, as for me, I have I, I have a collection of Star Wars stuff, but I purposefully don't collect action figures just because I can imagine the frustration that and the space it takes up. <laughs> yeah, now I stopped collecting uh, due to that. So. <laughs> there you go. Well, Eric, thank you very much for being a guest right here on the Dark Side Chats. It's been an honor. As they flew around Coruscant, Lord Sidious looked out of the window at everything. So much has changed since my time. I don't recognize anything here, Darth Sidious said. One might argue that the storyline in Infinite Darkness jumps around a bit, but it does have a lot of action and humor, and I would recommend it for mature listeners. Um, Also, the audio recording was done right here in my living room, not in a studio, so uh, the quality isn't exactly superb. Uh, It was done on a digital voice recorder and uh, with uh, cheap software. (laughs) Think of it as an old radio show. He carefully placed the bomb droids inside the temple and boarded his ship. Leaving the planet, he detonated the bombs, killing everyone inside and bringing the Sith temple down to ashes. As he left the planet, he sent a message to the Republic destroyers. Send help right away. The Sith Temple has been destroyed, and it was the work of Darth Bruticus. Hurry fast, we're... The message was cut off as Darth Tavian cleared the planet's gravitational pull and went into hyperspace. This giveaway contest is open to anyone, anywhere in the world. To enter, simply send me an email at darthbruticus at aim.com. Be sure to put Infinite Darkness Giveaway in the subject line of your email. For full contest rules, see the description area of this episode on YouTube and MySpace video. And now for the question to answer. The Brutal One, that's me, has a number of autographs from Star Wars cast members in his collection, including that of Alec Guinness. Which actor in the Star Wars movies is your favorite and why? Be sure to put your answer in the comments section of this episode. Lord Mortis, who appeared in the last episode of the Dark Side Chats, episode 30, created a custom Darth Baruticus action figure. It's good to be posable. Until next time. May the dark side be with you. Always. Give yourself to the dark side. <laughs>
Your skills are complete.